Now I don't know who to trust anymore. You have Michael Jackson, you have R. Kelly, you have Bill Cosby, you have Harvey Weinstein, you have Jeffrey Epstein, you have, uh, who's this guy now? Kevin Spacey. Well, now he's acquitted, so I can't add him to the list, but I'm just saying. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new episode of Nox and Marubi Unfiltered. I'm Nox, he's Marubi. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and let's enjoy the show. To Kevin Spacey, I want to say this. Shame on you for what you did to my son. The Spacey story first broke in October with accusations from Anthony Rapp that Spacey made an unwanted sexual advance on him when he was 14. Spacey was 26. Unruh especially angry that Spacey chose that moment to come out as gay, seemingly as a defense of his actions. Unruh says in July of 2016, Spacey bought drinks for her then 18-year-old son at the club car restaurant in Nantucket. Her son told Spacey he was old enough to drink. She says the two were talking after her son's shift as a busboy ended, but things took a shocking turn. It wasn't until Kevin Spacey put his hand inside his pants that he really knew he was in trouble. Let's go, Knox. Kevin Spacey, you think he's guilty or you think he's innocent, Knox? The court, the court found him innocent. Look. I, ca I can't, I'm not the absolute dog, I'm not the absolute, I can't sit here and bend the man at the at stake, at the stake, whatever they, they did back in the medieval times and say he's, he's guilty, so he should die or whatever, dog. The courts found him innocent. Not guilty. A jury in London has acquitted actor Kevin Spacey of all sexual assault charges against him. Four different men made accusations against Spacey dating back to incidents between the years 2004 and 2013. That's what we chose as a society, as, a society, as, the, as the bar for whatever. It fails us most of the time. But hey, what, 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 what can we do? Okay, Knox. I don't know. No. That's my question. My question to you is uh -huh. this. You know there are people who, uh -huh. who, I'm not saying there's anyone above the law, uh -huh. but there are people who know how to move within the law. 100%. In which can make things disappear, can make things move uh, a day before or the next day, right? To make it seem as though they were law-abiding citizens. Billion percent agree. J.P. Morgan, the company says it's reached an agreement in principle with Jane Doe to settle the class action lawsuit related to Jeffrey Epstein's crimes. The settlement is subject to court approval still. J.P. Morgan Chase has reached a settlement in a class action lawsuit with victims of financier Jeffrey Epstein. SEC fines J.P. Morgan subsidiary for deleting 47 million emails, some related to subpoenas. Stuck. Look, we as a society have chosen the law. And I literally just said this when we started. We've chosen the law to be our absolute. But we know the law has, in most cases, failed us and all that. So in that case, I guess we need to find a better solution of how to resolve these things. Because there's, there's people we know are innocent, uh, are guilty and are walking the streets. And we know people are innocent that are in jails and all that. But there's nothing you can do about it because we chose the law to be our absolute. So, in, so we, this means we need to find the new absolute or whatever to go. This is how we're going to judge people and all that. Because the law fails because people know how to bend it, like you said. But and so we're going to need to find like the thing is, is there is there even a thing where we can find which is going to be like the bar and people can bend it and all that? You probably can't, can't find that because people are going to, like you said, make evidence disappear and all that. So the law is there like it fails us 100 percent. But, you know, do you have a better solution to resolving crimes and sexual assault? And I do that? not see no one, no one, no one does. But if we go with the mob justice mentality, we're gonna one we're gonna one day kill the wrong people. I'm not saying kill him. Whatever. I'm not saying day, kill Kevin Spacey. We're gonna one day cancel no, 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 and no, no, just no. throw away the wrong people. That's that's the okay. Look, I'm very frustrated right okay. now. Right? Why am I frustrated? Mm -hmm. Because this Kevin Spacey situation for me is it's 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 a how can I put this? It's a very difficult thing to observe someone's child, a mother, a father, anyone. Mm -hmm. I don't even have children. Yeah. I don't even have children. Yeah. But to observe 
a, a child who can't say anything for themselves, who doesn't know any better. 100%. A teenager mm-hmm. who's too naive to realize what they are getting themselves into. Yep. I'm only 25, Knox, mm-hmm. but I can tell you when I was, I can definitely, definitely have outsmart a teenager any day. Okay. In terms of uh, having my own way, if I wanted to. Do you, no, I'm giving you. I am. No, I, yeah, no, yeah, I, I am not I say, I I am saying. I am saying. Yes, I understand you. The level of, of intelligence it, of, it. Oh, of yeah. a 25 year old to a teenager, yeah, it's, it's drastic. It's insane, Knox. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, I, I agree. Thing is, it's not fair. It's yeah. not even close to being fair. Yep. This man, how old is Kevin Spacey? He's wow. 50s. Then, then, then he was 26. No, I'm, was no, 14. wait. Oh, no, he's 64. No. He's 64 now. Six years ago, that means he was 58. Mm-hmm. This man was an 18-year-old. How is that ever fair, Knox? How is that fair? No, it's not. It is absolutely in yeah. no way in a playing level, yeah. even equivalent. Yeah, I, I agree, dog. I agree. There is no way. I agree. With a twenty-five-year-old though would have punched the shit out of him. Yep, probably. Because a twenty-five-year-old has some wits to finding themselves. They've got an understanding as to okay, I am not gay. Okay. So this what's happening now is not for me. Mm-hmm. So he probably would have pushed him off, punched him. Or gotten away from the situation way before it started because they would have assessed the situation a bit better. Okay. But an eighteen year old, Knox. Look, do I hear you. A fourteen year old when he was twenty six. Mm-hmm. How is that fair? I understand your frustrations, but like I said, like as society, that's what we chose as our level as our bar to say if someone is uh thing accused of something, we are going to have to go this way. But look, let me put it like this. Mm-hmm. I cannot say he is guilty. Yeah, you can't say that. That's my, that's my thing as well. It's like we can sit here and go, he's guilty. But I can sure as hell say, I don't think he's innocent. Yeah, that's, and that's just my yeah, opinion. Yeah, that's your opinion. You, yeah, yeah. We, we can't. We, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to force it onto society. Yeah, let yeah. me put it like that. It is not my place to do so. Okay. But I am, I encourage people to be much more cautious in this world with their children. I encourage people, men specifically, I can't speak for women, I'm not a lady. I encourage men, become rich, become smarter. Read a lot of books, understand this society. I'm not saying become a matrix, no. I'm not saying leave the matrix, no. But know about it. And know where you are living. Know about people like this. Okay. Know about how to move in gray areas. Know about that. Because it looks like <coughs> at the end of the day, we are in a war with each other. Okay. Now I don't know who to trust anymore. You have Michael Jackson, you have R. Kelly, you have Bill Cosby, you have Harvey Weinstein, you have uh, Jeffrey Epstein, you have, uh, who's this guy now? Kevin Spacey. Well, now he's acquitted, so I can't add him to the list, but I'm just saying. You have all these people. All those people you mentioned there, they've been found guilty, all of them. Except for Kevin Spacey and Michael Jackson. Yeah, because he's not here to defend himself. But yeah, man, guys, uh, thank you for listening, watching. Subscribing and liking our videos on the on the pod. On the pod. I'm Nox, this is Marubi. Peace out. This is Nox and Marubi. Unfiltered. Is that the song you want? <laughs> <laughs>